Nick Khan did an interview. Guest of the J.P. Morgan Global Technology Media and Communications Conference, which sounds very important. I can't believe I wasn't invited to that one. He said the 10 p.m. hour for Raw is under consideration for some adjustments that would appeal to a more adult audience. So, of course, you know, people have been asking forever, you know, when are we going to go back? We, we talked about this a thousand times. I mean, the show's going to be good or it's not going to be good. The, the PG, the PG, whatever, 14 or whatever it is, TB14, it's going to be good or it's not, okay? And they're not going to allow you to blade. Maybe they'll allow people to bang their head on the ring post a lot during the 10 o'clock hour to bust themselves open hard way. I don't know. But that has been discussed. He said they are still in the exclusive negotiating window with NBC Universal and renewal rights for the Monday Night Institution. Well, they are now out of that window for Fox. Those windows began during WrestleMania 39 weekend. Unknown what other entities have shown interest as of now. Khan has continued to remain bullish on the TV rights interest for both properties from broadcast and streaming entities. He gave no indication Tuesday as to when a deal could be done with any interested party. There's no rush for it to be done as they want to do what is best to maximize the value for WWE. In a talk last week, Khan said they would be open to SmackDown moving off Friday nights while referencing how Amazon is attempting to program specific nights of the week for their prime streaming service. He said Tuesday their content could go any night of the week, mentioning how Raw could also move off Mondays. He feels NXT could be its own third brand with more crossover from Raw and SmackDown and be more than just a developmental brand. That's always been a funny story, you know. You know, that, the thing now is, well, they were always developmental on Wednesdays, forgetting that the company was strongly pushing it as not developmental until they just were getting destroyed on Wednesdays by AEW. And then all of a sudden it was developmental again. It's just developmental. He said that more content could be coming with, quote, an additional show on another night of the week. Once all of the TV rights get situated, we'll look at other nights of the week to develop new content as well. Some of that new content could be more adult-themed to satisfy the audience who is looking for it. Oh, great. And uh, talked about some other things as well. Mm. So here's here's what I can tell you. I would be very surprised. I would be very surprised if they moved Raw off Monday nights. Raw has been on Monday nights since... Day one, 92 or 93 or whatever it was. 93. It's so been, I don't even know. It's been, uh, it's been forever. I was in high school, and well, I'm an old honest, man be now. Before that, it was uh, primetime wrestling was on Monday. Also Monday night. nights. That's when yeah. I first started watching wrestling. It was like 1988, primetime wrestling, every Monday night. So I would be very, very, very surprised if they ever moved Raw off Monday nights. Would I be surprised... If SmackDown went to three hours, absolutely not. And I can tell you for a fact that the idea of SmackDown going to three hours has been something that has been discussed for years. So money talks. <laughs> they want That's money. That's and, uh, you know, if if a TV deal comes along and somebody wants three hours of SmackDown, SmackDown is going to go to three hours. And, uh, you know, I could see SmackDown moving to, uh, you know, Saturdays 8 to 10. That's always possible. Uh, I could see it moving to Wednesdays 8 well, to 10. Yeah. You know, there's there's a lot of things that they could do. But I would not be surprised if, uh, if that did happen. We'll find out here soon enough. I think it comes down to what happens with Fox. Because we didn't talk about it on this show, but there were the guys from Light Shed Partners who often take part in investor calls that revealed on their podcast that during a meeting that Endeavor held, they were indicating WWE side or Endeavor side that Fox may not be the best media partner going forward, which caused a little bit of a dip in the stock price last week. People were wondering what that was about. Was it because of the collision announcement? What caused that? Well, apparently this caused that because... Nick Khan has been talking about, okay, we can get our minimum on this as we know we can get one and a half times what we're getting now. Fox does not seem to like that 1.75 times number. 
and they may be shying away. Who wouldn't shy away? Well, you look at who's out there, ESPN or Amazon. I think that's why you hear Nick Khan pushing Netflix and Amazon more, because at the end of the day, your best partner for SmackDown is USA. And what would USA do? Easily pay more money. I shouldn't say this. I'm not in their pockets, but I would be shocked if they would not pay WWE what they wanted to, but made sure that they got a third hour out of SmackDown and put that on as a way to bookend their week, Monday and Friday, Monday and Thursday, however it is. And then with there, you also have NXT also there. So could you take that and move it because that's a separate deal? Sure, you could later on down the line, but I would be... If you ask me right now, I mean, USA having as much WWE product as possible to boost up their ratings, yeah, they pay for that. Listen, do I think that the next TV deal is going to be bigger for WWE? Of course. Do I, th do I think that it could be a lot bigger? Yeah. But is there a guarantee that they're going to get 1.5, 1.75? Oh, they'll get double. Blah. Well, no. I mean, no. you know, we've been talking about this for years and years and years. They've always got more money. But that doesn't go on forever. I mean, at some point, you know, your 1.75 is going to become 1.5. Maybe it'll become 1.25. Hey, what's primetime in know. Fox worth? Is it worth a little less? you got to decide that. Back in a moment with more Observer. Um, old Goldberg is okay. After busting his head open during an accident on his farm. What's with all these big jacked up dudes having farms? Maybe that's the secret. If you want to get strong, have a farm. Is that where they got the big farm boy strength from? Yeah, he shared photos of his head bleeding following a tractor mishap. <laughs> that don't he, sound good at all. He headbutted the tractor, didn't he? Look at him. He was doing work on his now. farm in oh. Texas when he knocked his head on his tractor, which opened up a big gash near his forehead. He told TMZ Sports, the incident was not anything serious. The cut was, quote, just a flesh wound. You see this cut? It's a big cut, dude. He's, ble he's, open hard he's bleeding all over the place. Right down there. He has not wrestled since he lost to Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber in February. He says he's leaning towards promoting his own four-city retirement tour. He says, I'll stop the rumor mill right now. The reason why these rumors are out there is because Vince McMahon and I had a handshake understanding that after the Roman's Reign match, or Roman Reigns match, I would have a proper retirement match, and that has not come to fruition through them and so therefore nobody puts a stamp on my career nobody tells me when i'm done period end of story when somebody tells me that i like to fight against it i like to do things my own way i go out my own way i certainly don't go out under roman reigns three weeks after i have covid and agreed to a match so if i go on a world tour promote it myself that's a possibility so uh rick bassman hoping to put together an event in jerusalem this september that would feature both goldberg and sting yeah Hmm. Watch Didn't out around those tractors, dude. Down? Huh? Didn't I say that and you shot that one down? No, I, I pointed out that Sting could potentially retire at Wembley. Mm -hmm. And then what's the, uh, he ain't doing her Jerusalem show afterwards. Unless he, your your idea was he would do all the different gimmicks like Muda. <laughs> He'd be surfer Sting in Jerusalem. <laughs> Blade Runner Sting. Yes. You know? Come on. That's not Steve a real, Borden. that's like one of my retirements. <laughs> I wonder what kind of tractor it was that uh, Goldberg had and what he was a big one there. See that yeah, gash on his head? A, was it a John Deere or was it that brand that Brock Lesnar is pushing? Or Who cares? I don't know. Cause what I'm does that have to do stuff? with anything? Uh, cause we're Am I getting paid it? by John Deere? I don't know. Are you if they want to pay Goldberg? me, I'll put over their tractors. We're talking about him like not being able to control his tractor right now. Maybe we should find out more about the tractor. I don't think that's the problem, Mike. The tractor's the an problem? animate object. Yeah. He headbutted it, so that's that. See, that's what I want to know. He, Did he, he roll the tractor? Headbutted a deer, a John Deere, a Joe Buck. John Deere. Could have done any of these things. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, at that. F4W Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, 
there, you big fat whale! Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo! Hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.